thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be a chatty, tested, get ready with me type of video. And I'm pretty much going to be using the makeup that I hauled a couple of videos back. The only thing new that I have is this beauty right here, this Natasha Denona palette. Oh my goodness, I love it, I love it. So I have this, but let me let me just tell you, I will have timestamps below just in case you know you don't you only want to see a particular product. I'll have timestamps below because I know how it is when you're watching a video and sometimes people get to talking and you don't want to hear that, you just want to see that. Plus my analytics show that because <laughs> I think it was on my Juvia's Place. I put the timestamps and you can always tell when people skip, you know, the part that you're talking to and they go directly to, um, you know, the application. And I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that because for me, I can really appreciate a timestamp. So anyway, I also use the Cover Effects Duo um, Blush Palette. I use the Huda Cream Bronzer. It's called a Tantour Cream. And I use the, the Natasha, the, 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 the Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus and the concealer. Now, let me just go ahead and say with this foundation, um, I feel as though it oxidizes and when I apply it, it is going to look light, especially on my forehead. I'm darker around the perimeter of my face and this part of my face, the inner part of my face matches my chest. And it's like, if I match the outer part of my, the perimeter of my face, then my my face is going to look significantly darker than my chest. So when you see the application, you're gonna be like, oh my God. <laughs> so I just thought I would warn you, but it came together once I bronzed, as you can see, at least I think it did. If you didn't, um, please let me know down in the comments. What else did I use? And I also use these little iHeart lip glosses and that's pretty, I think that's pretty much it. You all be on the lookout for more uploads from me. I'm wanting to add more content and I also want to include some life and wellness. I do a lot of that on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go check me out. Um, I tend to post like when I go out or when I go to the gym, I do a lot of posting like that. So go over and check me out. But yeah, I wanna include more content like that. Of course, I'm going to continue to do the mature skin and things that are good for mature skin. I'm gonna continue that as well as the makeup. So I just feel like I wanna be more active. So be on the lookout for that. So with all that being said, let's get to it. So I do have my eyes already primed and I just used the Milani concealer. I use this Milani concealer and I didn't set it with a powder. So it's still, well, it feels like it's dried down some. So that's the way that I'm gonna, or that's the base that I'm gonna use for the eyeshadow palette. So I wanted to just quickly compare. I have the Sunset palette and when I first saw the Sunrise, I was wondering if it was, how close it was to the Sunset. So here it is, here are the two right here. And these, these colors in the Sunrise palette, they are a little bit more berry tone. You get a lot more of, a minute, you get a lot more of these shades right here. Whoop. These shades right here. Okay, so that's my take on it. And all of the metallic shades in the Sunrise palette are not um, in any of her other palettes. Because I even have the uh, Lila palette. Let me get that one out. All right, so I have the Lila palette out. And just for comparison's sake, let's just look at it really fast. When you look at it and you look at this one, um, you don't really see, I guess you do see a few colors. Um, see, again, you have, she has these berry tones, like this shade, this shade, and maybe this shade. Okay, but it's not the same, or which was what I was kind of thinking, but I just thought I would show you all. I do have the 28 of Hand Blue palette and the Star palette and the uh, Tropical palette, but those are clearly not like this one. But I'm thinking that the formulas are different. I didn't have a chance to read the ingredients. I just, as soon as it released, I went to Sephora and picked it up and now I'm filming and you all will probably, I'm probably gonna upload this Friday night or something like that or Saturday. But yeah, the consistency is different if you ask me in these two palettes. But I do think that this palette is really pretty. I got a lot of flack from one of my girlfriends, um, Marlo, she has a channel and she is notorious for Marco Polo and me early in the morning. 
you know, so she sends me this message. You getting that palette? I know you getting that palette. And da da da. She was just doing the most about this palette. <laughs> I ain't getting this palette. I'm not paying $65 because the pans are so small and I don't know. But you know, I actually like the fact that it's smaller. Um, this year, I'm kind of leaning more into mini size palettes. I think that they're so cute and compact. And I just love this palette. I like the packaging of it. Um, it's really pretty. Let me go ahead and swatch a few for you. All right, so the pal as you can see, the swatches really aren't all of that magnificent. They're kind of lackluster. Some of them are. There is some fallout in the pan after the swatch, but you know, stuff like that never has bothered me. I'm gonna go in and start to look. I have all of my clean brushes in this little pouch. Okay. All right, so let's go in with, I'm gonna use this shade right here, okay? and use it as a brow bone highlight. And when you stick your brush in, you do get some fallout. So can you all see the fallout? Not sure if you, you all can see it. And it just might be my brush. I'm using a Morphe brush and I really don't like these brushes. I like the Morphe brushes that have the black hairs. Those are uh, work a little bit better for me. So I'm just gonna blend this in. And I did want to kind of talk to you all about uh, things that you all can expect. I'm gonna be uploading a little bit more. At least I'm gonna try really hard and I am going to include more well I don't have any I'm going to include life and wellness type of videos so just be on the lookout for that and of course I'm still going to do my videos that are focused on mature skin and anti-aging plus the makeup so those are the only difference really just kind of be looking for more uploads from me. I hope that's not gonna be bothersome, but I just want to upload more content. I don't know if it's because the summer and I don't have to go drop off kids, pick up kids, go drop off kids, pick up kids, go drop off kids, pick you know, so I'm just kind of feeling like I have a lot of free time. Even though I have been really tired here lately, but I think it's because I've been doing a lot of exercising. For those of you all who don't follow me on Instagram, I do try to exercise a lot. With that being said, let me go into the uh, next color. I guess I'm gonna use this orange right here. So yeah, I've been trying to um, do more exercising just to kind of keep my body in shape, well, get it in shape. And I'm just in that mode right now. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram. My name is the same as my YouTube name which is keeping it simple with Bridget. All right, so I have that on both sides and I'm still getting fallout. I'm just gonna blow it away. And now I'm gonna go in with this terracotta shade. I probably should have stuck with the berry tones, but I didn't. I'm going to go in with that shade next. I'm gonna use the same brush and just bring it down more into my crease. But I think that the, these eyeshadows are blending very well. I don't have the, like I said, I don't have the Viva and the Safari palette. Only because I was a little, I don't know. I mean, I would like to have it, but I don't. But these shadows are blending in really good. Because see, look at that. I think that looks really good and it's a nice blend as well. All right, so now I'm gonna use a different brush and I'm gonna use this shade right here and put that in my crease. And this, I'm using a different brush but I'm having less fallout. This is a Delium Tools brush and it's really soft. Sometimes, you know, you can get a lot of fallout if your brushes are a little bit too hard, if, the, if it doesn't have soft bristles. At least that's my, uh, Thought. So I'm just going to put this right here on the end and in the crease, but I'm going to bring it in halfway. And I think that that's really pretty. Do y'all see that? Looks really good. Let me go ahead and do the other side. All right, so I have that done on both sides and I think that looks good. I think I'm going to put this one on the outer V. It's like a metallic shade. And I typically like to go in with my fingers. If you all watch me, I'll, if when it's time to do the metallics, I'll just stick my, <laughs> my finger in and apply with my finger. But I'm just going to go ahead and use a brush. And it does have some metallic reflex, I guess, or it does look a little bit shiny, but not all that reflective. All right, so the next shade I'm going to use 
is this one. Well, let's see. This one right here. Okay. Now I am going to use my finger for this. And the reason that I like to use my finger is that for me, I just get a little bit more payoff. And it's a little bit quicker <laughs> to just apply it with your finger. So this is how it's looking so far. And I think the color is beautiful. I think I'll use this one right here. Okay. So I'm going to add that. Ooh, so pretty. My inner eye. That is so pretty. Y'all see that? And I had a request on my last video where I did the Juvia's Place. They uh, had a request for me to come closer. I, I am closer. I hope this is close enough for the person that requested that. On my lower lash line, I'm just going to put this, this shade right here. And let's see. These two shades. So this will be on my outer V, lower lash line, and this is going to be on the middle. And then on the inner lower lash line, I'm going to use this color. Ooh, so pretty. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, this palette. I'm in love with this palette. And I'm going to go and put some eyeliner. I'm going to put some eyeliner on and... All right, so I'm back with the eyeliner and the eyelashes on. And if you're looking at me like, girl, what's going on with the eyelashes? You all know that I like to do the most with the eyelashes, with the least amount of money. I'm gonna go ahead and move into this foundation. And I have been using it, and I'm gonna tell you all, I like it. I have seen a lot of reviews where people don't like it. And you know, people don't like it for various reasons. And just the FYI, my skin is pretty much normal. I might get a little oily up in here, but everywhere else is pretty much normal. And and when I wear my foundations, I wear them, you know, around the house. And if I still have on the foundation, I'll go to the gym just to kind of see how it works out at the gym so I can come back and tell you all how it worked for me. But what I particularly like about this foundation is that it's full coverage, but it's a thin consistency. And that's, that's really the problem with a lot of full coverage foundations. By them being full coverage and thick, it just, it doesn't play well with lines and wrinkles and stuff like that. This foundation feels real comfortable on the skin. It does oxidize. I will say that the shade that I have is 85W and I started, I initially started to uh, swatch the second to the last darkest, deepest shade, but it oxidized. Then I went down again and then I went down again. So. Uh, this one was the best match and as far as the concealer the all of her conceal she has like this one is Orange, I think that's what this is. I'll put it on the screen But a lot of her undertones for the deeper shades are like orange and stuff like that. So uh, This one is not really gonna play as a highlight I don't think because it's not that much lighter than this one after it oxidizes But you all can tell me what you think so with this one when you shake it it does have do y'all hear that it's got a ball in it so you got to shake it really good and for this one i am going to go ahead and use a sponge so let me wipe this off my and also again i do have under my eyes because this is a matte foundation always make sure that you prep your under eyes really well if you're going to use any type of matte concealer and also another tip when you use the matte when you use a concealer under your eyes you don't need a lot you know if you're gonna highlight you know keep it down here but then the the concealer that you put real close up under there make sure it's well prepped with a good eye cream and just use a little you really don't need to use a lot so I'm gonna go in with this and you all can see how runny it is it's like super runny so I'm gonna put this I'm gonna start off over here And it is, this foundation is so pretty to me. It is beautiful, I love it. All right, let me go ahead and do this side. And it covers up my, did you all see those little dark dots that I have on my face, the dark spots and all the hyperpigmentation that I have around my chin area? Y'all see that? It's so beautiful. Okay, let me put a little bit on my nose. Yeah. 
and just in case I didn't tell you all for my skin prep what I have what I use was my, it's just my regular skincare routine I use two toners and an essence I don't really you I've never really used primers I just never felt the need to but that's just me if you all use primers or if that's what you use definitely um, use it but I don't use primers So now I'm gonna go ahead and use this Huda Beauty Tan Tour Bronzer. And I'm a little bit afraid to use this because I was watching Kelsey Brianna J and she used it and it removed her foundation. So I'm gonna use my Kevin O'Quan contour brush and I guess just stick this in there and hope for the best. And I'm gonna put it right here along the outer perimeter and I'm gonna blend that in. And it is really dark. <laughs> but before I panic, I'm just gonna blend it in. And it said that this is supposed to serve as a contour as well as a bronzer. So I'm just gonna blend this, try to blend this out and see what happens. It is really deep. And the reason that I didn't get the other shade is because it looked really light. And I'm wondering if I should go back and get the other shade, the lighter shade. Because <laughs> this is super light. So I'm just going to blend, put some down here and blend it in. So it didn't take up this foundation. I didn't think so. When I was watching uh, Kelsey Brianna do it, it literally lifted her foundation up. So yeah, I th you can see where it is like super red around the edges, but I'm wondering how, how that's gonna turn out after I put my powder on. So let me see if I can blend this out. All right, so now I'm gonna use the concealer and this is supposed to be a matte concealer. So I'm just gonna put it right here. And again, this has an orange undertone, so and to me, it's not all that bright. You know how some concealers are like a bright yellow? I don't know. I'm thinking it's a nice color. You can tell me all, it's, it's giving me a highlight, but not that much of a highlight. And when I do my highlights, I don't do the forehead and the um, tip. Here lately, I definitely haven't been doing the forehead and the nose. Sometimes I'll do right here in the chin. Today, I think I'll do it. But let me go ahead and blend this in first. And it blends out beautifully. Do y'all see that? This is so pretty. All right, I think I'm gonna put a little here and some down here and just blend that out. And I feel like I don't need it on my forehead since the foundation is so light up there. I think that's okay. So I'm not really understanding what people don't like about it because I think this is, I think it's really pretty. And I think that it's a good match. Well, it seems like it's matching my chest. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything and I'm surprised at this Huda um, contour, tan tour, and I actually like it. I'm surprised that, I, I don't think uh, Kelsey Brianna liked it too much, but I know that when she used it, it picked up her foundation. So let me get a powder and I'm going to powder my face and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I set my face uh, with this uh, Milani powder. I felt as though I didn't have to add a bronzer powder because the bronzer that, uh, because this cream bronzer is enough and I really didn't want to add any more to it. So what else? I did use this MAC Gold, De Gold Deposit highlighter. I think everybody has this highlighter. If you don't have this highlighter, after you finish watching my video, go and get this highlighter. Do y'all see the color of it? And I just thought that that would be perfect for the video. So anyway, I'm going to use these two lip glosses from iHeart Revolution. I've already lined my lips and I have two shades. I'm gonna start off with this darkest shade and I'm gonna put the 
the lighter shade on the inner part. I've never tried this method with lip gloss, so I don't know if it's even gonna look right. And I'm gonna go in with the light shade. So I think that's it as far as that is concerned. So I got Spice Cinnamon and this is so pretty. I think that this will go with this eye look because I do kind of have some of those same shades. All right, so I'm gonna use my Delium Tools. What brush is this? The All Purpose Brush. And I'm gonna go in with this right here. Ooh, that's really pigmented, okay. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, I need to blend that out. You see that? <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my the brush that I use to add the powder and I'm gonna see if I can blend that out. All right, so I'm gonna use this part right here. Let me get a different brush and I'm gonna add it just right here. And it's really pretty. Do y'all see that? Oh, that's pretty. That I know this look. I'm doing the most. I'm doing the most with these lips and these eyes. I think I'm doing the most. I really like everything. I like, I especially like this foundation. I love it. If you have mature, ooh. <laughs> if you have mature skin and you're looking for a full coverage foundation, check this one out. I Like right now, it doesn't even feel like I have anything on. I only put on one coat. You know, I added my foundation in sections and I didn't layer it in heavy. Now, as far as the concealer, I like the concealer too. I think it's really pretty and I, and I really do think that it's pretty and I don't think that the concealer settled in any of my fine lines. I got them right there on the edge. I think this is just a really pretty foundation and concealer. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. Also, if you're my skin tone, don't get medium because I think that the, the medium is too deep. I feel like it worked out, I guess. You can let me know what you think down in the comments, but get a lighter shade if you're my skin tone. And um, yeah, that pretty much concludes uh, the video. Don't forget to be on the lookout or not. Don't be surprised if you see a lot of uploads. I just want to get more content out. And yeah, that that's pretty much it. Let me know, are you going to try any of these products? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until my next video, smooches. <sighs> All right, so I just wanted to check in and show you all how this foundation wears uh, under pressure, I guess. I've been on the treadmill for a little over an hour, hour and 80 minutes, and I've gone about 3.37 miles. So I typically sweat a lot right up here, and of course I'm sweating right here. And I think it, considering that I've been working out and sweating, it doesn't look bad, but I'm not really a boily person. I might get a little oily up in my forehead area. But outside of that, I think the foundation looks really good. And I know that the foundation <laughs> in the video, it looks really light. And I told you all it oxidizes, but this is kind of how it looks. I think that it just kind of came down to a perfect match. And let me know down in the comments what you think.